Well, I'm Herb Lawrence, and I'm with the Arkansas State University Small Business and Technology Development Center out of Arkansas State University, Jonesboro. Uh, we cover a 15-county area from uh, Blyville all the way to Mountain Home. Uh, at our center, uh, my staff and I uh, provide three basic functions for entrepreneurs and existing businesses. We do free and confidential consulting assistance on uh, a variety of, of topic areas from feasibility studies to business plans, financial analysis, loan packaging, and of course uh, work on social media marketing. Uh, we also offer a number of training workshops that small business and startup owners can take uh, on another variety of topics, whether it's starting your business, how to get a bank loan, uh, or on marketing. Uh, and those are all reasonably priced and aim to be tools that the attendee can actually take back to work and put the next day. Uh, in addition to that, we maintain a very extensive database uh, that we can provide to our uh, small business clients at no charge for market research assistance if they need help finding out about consumer uh, expenditure, competitor analysis, industry data. Uh, we have uh, an extensive library that we provide to help our small businesses. Uh, out of those 15 counties, one of my favorite is obviously Baxter County, uh, and that's because it's become such a, a, a haven for small business. Uh, being in the Ozarks with the great tourist uh, attractions that are here and the tourists that come in, uh, the retirement homes, it's really a, a virtual incubator for small businesses to come in, start, succeed, and prosper if they do it right. Uh, the opportunities there are just limitless and the people in, in Baxter County are wonderful to work with. I especially want to thank Joan Gilbert and her folks at Gilbert Realty uh, for allowing me to have a few minutes to tell you about how loans work. Uh, one area that we do get a lot of requests for is help in putting loan packaging together uh, to help a business, uh, help someone either purchase an existing business uh, or maybe it's an existing business wanting to expand. And in today's challenging economy, uh, getting commercial loans isn't always the easiest thing out there. Uh, banks would love to make loans, but uh, because of the, the economic conditions, it can prove to be a challenge even in the best of times. An area that we use quite a bit, though, to help our clients obtain commercial loans is using the U.S. Small Business Administration's Guarantee Loan Program. Uh, they have a uh, program set up by the federal government uh, that allows a bank to get a guarantee uh, to help protect them, to encourage them to make a loan. The borrower gets generally much more favorable terms for repayment, uh, and they're able to uh, not worry about balloon features that might crop up. So we really like SBA guarantee assistance, and a number of our lenders like that too. A number of our clients come to us because they're referred by lenders uh, who work with SBA, or by realtors who understand the need to help someone uh, uh, in purchasing that business get the best possible loan. One thing we always do try to explain to people when they're getting a commercial loan, whether it's an SBA guarantee or, or a straight commercial, uh, it's not like going and getting a car loan. Uh, it's not where you just walk in with your W-2 and uh, they make a decision. Uh, you've got to really convince that lender that one, you know what you're going to do, you're doing, uh, that you've got a plan, and that you understand banker lingo. Uh, so the worst thing anybody can do when they're going into a bank uh, asking for a commercial loan, because uh, the first thing the banker is going to ask is, well, how much do you need? Never say, I don't know, how much will you lend me? Uh, not a good sign. Uh, you need to come in with a plan. The first thing you need to do is when he asks or she asks that question, how much will you lend, uh, do you need? You need to tell them, I need $100,000, and of that $100,000, $60,000 is going for me to purchase some real estate or do some construction, $20,000 for new equipment, uh, $20,000 for uh, inventory or working capital, and uh, so I know where my money's going to go. Another good idea for any startup business is uh, to make sure part of that is going to include working capital you need to keep your business afloat during those first critical months while you're bringing uh, customers in. I can't tell you how many small businesses I deal with who just didn't have enough cash flow available to get them up to that point of break even. They were close, but they would run out of funding 
and couldn't get more. So understanding that need for a cash cushion uh, to help get your business over that hump is critical. Once you've told the banker how much you need, uh, you need to be able to also uh, talk to them about how, what the banker really wants to know is how are you going to pay it back. Uh, because you don't have a W-2 to show them uh, how much you make at Arkansas State University, the money that's going to repay that loan is going to come from the proceeds of the business. So you must have a well thought out, documentable, justifiable uh, cash flow financial plan that says I anticipate earning uh, $5,000 a month in revenues, growing by $1,000 per month for the next 12 months. I know what my fixed cost should be, my electricity is going to be X amount, my uh, rent's going to be X amount, my wages should be this, that and the other, uh, putting uh, in some variable costs. But basically you walk in and say, I know uh, not only how much I believe I should be able to make in revenues, but what my probable expenses will be and what my net profit is going to be. Because obviously it's from that net profit or that cash flow that the bank is going to see that you're able to repay the loan. Uh, so, you need to be able to show that to the banker and convince them. Uh, a critical area is obviously making sure that banker doesn't think you just pulled those numbers out of your ear. Uh, for that, uh, we do a lot of our market research assistance. We have uh, industry financial data. I can tell you exactly, uh, Joan, what your competitors are spending on supplies, uh, what they're spending on wages as a percentage of their gross revenues. And so if I was a startup business, knowing that, uh, I can apply that to be able to come up with a really good idea of what my cash flow potential should be. Uh, understand too, that even with an SBA guarantee, uh, a bank's going to want to know about collateral. Uh, so you need to be able to talk about that. And if you've got uh, personal collateral, you may have to plan to pledge it. Uh, now, with an SBA guarantee, if the collateral is not available, that is never a reason by itself for SBA to disprove the loan, because they know that's the reason they're there. But if you do have uh, available collateral, anticipate that they're probably going to ask you to, to help provide that. Uh, the other area is obviously for a startup business that of equity, uh, the down payment for lack of a better word. Virtually, there's virtually no bank is going to do a 100% commercial loan, especially for a startup. You do have to put a plan to put some money in yourself or some assets in yourself. Uh, how much? Well, it depends on the type of business. It depends upon the value of the business collateral uh, or a personal collateral you may have. Uh, but if, say, you were a retail store going in downtown Mountain Home uh, where you're going to have to rent your facilities, so really the only business collateral you have to offer is furniture, fixtures, a cash register, and some inventory, they may want a substantial amount of that overall project cost in collateral. That's another area though where SBA can be very helpful. SBA as a rule would say for a startup, we would like to see a reasonable equity injection. Well, what's reasonable? 20% possibly. Uh, 